Thank you, Chairman Wicker, Ranking Member Cantwell, uh, Acting Ranking Member Blumenthal, members of the committee and your staff. It's an honor to be here, nominated by the President and considered by this august body for this important appointment. I am cognizant of the timing of this hearing and thank you again for being here under these circumstances. I'd also like to thank my wife, Susan, and my son, Gage, for attending and, and my stepdaughter, Kristen, who was unable to because of the restrictions. I was raised by a single mother under often difficult circumstances. Watching Neil and Buzz walk on the surface of the moon pulled me from a confusing environment into a world of amazing possibilities. I saw a better future for myself, for our nation, and humanity. NASA's amazing scientific accomplishments in the robotic exploration of our solar system inspired my choice of a STEM career in computing. I founded a series of tech startups and worked as an engineer and a manager in the corporate world. Upon completing an MBA at UC Irvine's Mirage School of Business, I was invited to join the faculty. I found I had a real passion for teaching management, entrepreneurship, and economics to engineers. I began researching the space industry in 2003. My PhD thesis explored governmental influence on industry emergence within the space context. As a faculty member at USC's Marshall School of Business, my deep connection with America's traditional space firms and startups built a reputation as an expert researcher and commentator on the business of space. I've also been proud to advocate for human and civil rights in China, US manufacturing jobs, and the protection of American intellectual property. I've helped many students secure space jobs. I've supported several in their applications to the Brooke Owens Fellowship, which provides mentoring for undergraduate women. I've also mentored many startups. One of these, Relativity Space, has raised over $175 million. They're using private capital to refurbish older test stands and buildings at NASA's Space Flight Center. Serving on the NASA agency review team gave me the opportunity to delve deep into the agency's projects and accounting. Former NASA CFO David Radzanowski has written a letter to this committee noting, Dr. Autry understands the role of the CFO and its responsibilities. I believe you can count on him to continue to deliver the high quality management oversight and reporting that has distinguished the office of the Chief Financial Officer at NASA for the last decade. The 1,800 employees in the office of the CFO have been doing a great job under superb leaders. F confirmed, I look forward to joining Administrator Bridenstine and his excellent team in implementing the agency's ambitious goals. I've been an advocate for NASA's many-fold missions, including planetary exploration, astronomy, earth sciences, aircraft research, and human exploration. I've been a longtime supporter of the International Space Station, COTS, and the Commercial Crew Program. Reaching Mars via the moon will require all that America has to offer. I've been a public supporter of all the components of the Artemis system, including the Space Launch System, Orion Capsule, and Lunar Gateway. Artemis gives SLS Orion a mission worthy of their capabilities, an issue that concerned me prior to the administration's bold commitment to deep space exploration and economic development of cislunar space. NASA's talents, the immense capabilities of its prime contractors, the innovative spirits of new startups are all part of a national competitive advantage that will make this an American century in space, returning value to our taxpayers and empowering humanity. This task demands innovative financial leadership that I am ready to provide. Why spend money in space when we have problems here on Earth? During Apollo, our nation was engaged in an intractable Cold War, a bloody ground conflict in Vietnam. There were bitter disagreements at home over the draft, civil rights, racial injustice, women's equality. Several beloved American leaders were assassinated. Protests roiled our campuses. Riots rocked our cities. The Hong Kong flu pandemic killed nearly 100,000 Americans in 1969. Among that chaos, NASA's moon landing stands as an iconic, inspirational moment of those times. Space exploration shifted our tech sector into overdrive and gave us insights and solutions for our environmental challenges. The payback has been huge. America can afford to have a future. If I am confirmed as the CFO of NASA, I look forward to working with you to ensure that the funds required to build that future are wisely spent and accounted for in accordance with the appropriations of the United States Congress. Thank you again for your consideration. 
I hope you will move to confirm my nomination, and I'm eager to address any concerns or questions you may have. Thank you very much, Dr. 